Fam, it's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I am back to do another general message for the collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully great. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance from our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So, uh, what's up, fam? Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in our energy, any updates or progress on our current situations, anything we don't see coming, uh, the usual. Um, hopefully, you guys are doing good. Uh, you're feeling blessed and highly favored. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use the Kipper Ish and do a mini spread. We're going to do the ICAP Zero. I'm going to do a little bit of the mess deck. We're going to do some Oracle, and I did pick a prayer for you guys. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying your weekend. You know, uh, you've had a good weekend. You're enjoying your day, your morning, your afternoon, your evening. Um, I have pre-shuffled. Let's get into it. Let's see what we got. Manifestation. Child. Soulmate. Conflict reverse. Opposition reverse. All right, so we have manifestation, child, soulmate, conflict reverse, and opposition reverse. Uh, first one out is manifestation. Uh, you know, this talks about, you know, being uh, manifesting, you know, having the tools, having everything you need to manifest your desires, you know, bringing things, bringing something into fruition, into reality. Um, it's in the upright. Somebody could be manifesting. Priest reverse. Trust it. Ritual came out on the fence, like literally sideways. Ritual. Self-love. Rising star. So there's like a, a you know, a lower vibrational masculine energy. Uh, this person is coming out as the priest reverse. You know, somebody that could be uh, spiritually gifted, could be, you know, uh, spiritually wise. But, you know, this per or a leader. They could be a spiritual leader as well of some sort. Um, they're reverse. They're distorted. So this is like a lower vibrational. It's like, it's like wizard, warlock, jigalock energy. You know, uh, Hogwarts rejects. Uh, it was fun about trusted. So I don't know what the hell. What the hell? Priest reverse trusted in ritual, which did come out on the fence. Maybe this person's trusting that you know their magic is working, or maybe they believe they're, they're trusting that their magic is you know going to work or something. Whatever they're trying to manifest for you. Uh, then we have self love and rising star. This person could be doing like manifesting their own. I don't, I don't feel like this is them. I feel like this is collective energy. You know, somebody on the up and up, somebody who's been doing the work. So somebody that could possibly be reaping the rewards as well of doing the work. Uh, somebody that loves themselves. Rising star self-love, you know. Um, a lot of us, you know, that was a valuable lesson for a lot of us. You know, the, the, the lesson of self-love, you know. Um, some of you could have loved somebody else more than you loved yourself. And that's, that wasn't healthy. Um, what's going on here? Rising star self-love. What's up with this priest? What does this person want? What do they want spirit? <laughs> this is an admirer. Somebody likes you. Oh, somebody like you, baby. <laughs> the boy like you. I cannot make it up. Look at that. Priestess in the upright. Somebody like you, boo. With your fine, divine, intuitive self. Maybe they like the way you love yourself. They're trying to manifest you.
The veil? This came out on the fence too. What's going on? The veil. Divine Feminine. Hey, love. What is that? What's going on here? False Narrative came out on the fence. All these cards on the fence. What's going on? False Narrative. The veil did come out on the fence. There's somebody that likes you. And this person is starting to see through a veil of illusion. You know, because a lot of you know, you're well aware that there was a bunch of weak, soft, pathetic ass, sorry ass karmics somewhere that was talk talking about you. Spreading lies. False narrative. You know, had a whole lot of bullshit to say about you. Wanted to project who they are onto your character. Um, You know... False narrative came out on the fence too. Somebody seeing through illusion, probably seeing through the lies and seeing you for who you are, who you truly are, which is a divine feminine and a priestess in the upright. A great person, a beautiful soul. That's what I get. I don't know who this priest is. This could be your past. I, you know, weird thing about it. I don't get past person energy. That could be your past person. For a lot of you, it is going to be your past person. But I mean, for some. It is a priest reverse. You know, somebody. Oh, come on now. Can you stand up straight, sir? Can you, could you stand up straight, please? Uh, Okay, we have child next. This is current energy. Something's going on right now. Um, Child. This could talk about an actual child. This could talk about a creation. This could talk about something. Uh. Something new, like a fresh start, a new beginning. Child. Single, sexy, and successful. Earth Angel Reverse. Community. Ancestors Reverse. Faith. I gotta pull another one. Third party sitch reverse. So there's somebody here that's focused on a new beginning, or could be, you know, embarking on a new beginning. Uh, with child upright, I feel like I happen to glance at the bottom. We have binding reverse. Somebody could have been trying to bind somebody else or bind something for somebody else. It's not working. I think in my last read, you know, there was somebody, there are energies that are trying to bind, you know, your finances, your love connections, you know, uh, your forward movement. And it's, it's not working because it wasn't destined to like who the who the fuck are they? Like I said, there are a lot of energies that have been trying to play God in your lives. And these people are nobodies. They wanted to say you were nothing. You were nobody. They're nothing. They're nobody, which is why the bush is not working. Who, who they thought they was. A lot of you are in this energy, nine of pentacles energy, single, sexy, successful. You know, you're doing your thing. You're not worried about, you're worried about yourself. Which if everybody else took a note from that book, the world will be a better place, a much better place. But you know, you're worried, you're focused on yourself and uh, it's working in your favor, beloved. Um, Earth Angel Reverse Community Ancestors Reverse. Now this is, I get like a, a weird, I almost my head starts hurting right here, right here. As soon as I started speaking on that. Earth Angel Reverse, Community in the Upright, Ancestors Reverse. It's like somebody, this could represent someone or some people that are not Earth Angels. Maybe they're Earth Demons. Uh, this is a group of them. Community. And Ancestors Reverse, meaning like, you know, not your light. Your ancestors of light, you know, of the highest resonant, you know, the the highest white light. This is like them downstairs, you know, maybe some uh some dark entities, you know, and energies. I don't. Let me pull a couple more because what's going on? We have faith and then third party reverse. I don't know if somebody is like somebody could be like on the wrong team or something. It could be a group of people that you know chose the the karmic road and uh. Somebody's praying. Somebody could be praying that they can get rid of a third party. 
Like, Lord, please let me ditch this bitch. Please, Lord. Help me get rid of this witch. I mean, I don't know. It's just... What's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, search. Jealousy and envy reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to get rid of a third party who's super jealous, super envious, and maybe abusive. Lord, please give me a... <laughs> she moving my ass, Lord, please. Don't I'll just say it. My heart goes out to you, brother. I hope there's not a grown man somewhere getting beat up by a comic film. I really hope not. Oh, there could be. Damn. This line got me confused. There, there's definitely there's a group, a community of people that are. There's this. That's this energy. This energy is focused on independence. They want to be independent. They want a fresh start. They want to start over. This is a fallen angel. And they're with a group of probably low, low vibrational individuals. They're praying that they can ditch the bitch, ditch a third party, uh, because this person's maybe being abused. They're around somebody super jealous, super envious, and abusive. Oh, yeah, they want to go elsewhere. This person's in their head. Could be thinking about love. Thoughts upright. Like, boy, I sure would be happy if I could get away from this heifer. <laughs> uh, next, we have soulmate in the upright. You know, this is like a soulmate. You know, somebody that you, uh, you know, are destined to encounter, destined to meet, destined to be with. It's in the upright. Soulmate. Gift. Real love. Oh, really? They just played me like that? Y'all hear this? They gonna play me on my meditation music? Jezebel, I knew it was I knew it was some bullshit up in there somewhere. I just knew there was gonna be some bullshit up in there somewhere. Excuse me for just a moment, my love. So sorry about that. Okay, so we got soulmate, gift, real love, Jezebel, work, labor, and efforts. Reverse. What was that? Change reverse. There's somebody that's focused on like a soulmate. I say this is your past person. Yeah. Binding is still at the bottom. They, they haven't been able to bind you, baby. They can't bind you, my love. Uh, this could be a soulmate. Somebody could have a soulmate. Somebody could be thinking about your soulmate. Thinking about you and your soulmate. Uh, thinking about your gift. Thinking about the fact that you are going to have genuine, uh, authentic, unconditional love with somebody. The energy who's focused on real love, a gift, and a soulmate is somebody in Jezebel energy. You know, uh, super lustful. You know, laying it low, spreading it wide. This could be Sally. This could be Samuel. Uh, you know, any member of the sidewalk gang. Um, you know. Work, labor, and efforts reverse. Oh, or somebody could have invested in a Jezebel. They invested in a Jezebel. Didn't invest in you, you know. The hell with you, right? But they invested in a Jezebel. Somebody that don't want to work. And don't want to change, don't want to grow. This person don't want shit, you know. Just lay on their back. Yeah, that's that's what I get. Uh, let me pull a couple more. Change reverse, work labor and efforts reverse. Somebody that could have lied, false, false documents, info, statements, or agreement. There was something false. It was a false person, more than likely. Change reverse. What's going on with that false? Oh, okay, so somebody provided some type of false documentation saying that somebody was uh, crazy. False, um, and then uh, chakras reverse. I get like, you know, chakras reverse is like somebody imbalanced. 
So they got like a false uh, document or something saying that like you you know you got a chemical imbalance. Oh, collective crazy. Look, I you know I made this fake ass doctor's note saying collective was crazy. That'll trigger me. Like real shit. You 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 doctor up. You doctor up a fucking document to say I'm motherfucking crazy. I'm gonna prove your ass right because I'm gonna fuck you up on sight. I'm gonna let it in front of everybody. So that way you have you have solid proof that I'm fucking crazy. That's bullshit. Now this person's sick. This person could be sick. Whoever uh, doctored these these uh, these false documents or medical records on you, saying you was in balance. Shockers reverse and false. What's going on? They did this for money. It's always about money with these fucking creatures. Fucking basement dwelling ass demon punk ass. They just yeah. It's always about money. Actual money. That's yours. It's not even their money. Mature woman upright. Empress energy. This is your shit. That's exactly what the fuck happened here. That pisses me off. So these dumbasses, right? These fucking idiots. These dumbasses. These pieces of shit, right? They made some type of false documents saying that you were imbalanced. Oh, collective crazy. Mm-hmm. Collective crazy. They can't manage their own funds. You know, they're they not right upstairs. So, hmm. Why don't you go ahead and, you know, give me the Empress's money. Give me collective money because they too crazy. They too imbalanced to have it for themselves. I kid you not. I saw, you know, I I'm, I feel for anybody who where this is their story. I pray to God it's not mine because baby, yeah, I'm about to prove that shit right. You go have real. They go have real proof that I'm fucking crazy. I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> yeah, but this has something to do with your motherfucking money, your money, your shit. Of course. What else for this last spirit? Goodness. Entity attachment reverse. They tried to send you some type of it. So, okay, they lied, made up false documentation, right? And then tried to project or bibbity bop, send you some type of fucking entity, right? And yeah, the shit is blocked. You're in the upright. Whatever the fuck they sent, yeah, right back at you, dumbass. Enjoy that. Thief reverse. Somebody tried to steal from you. They've been caught. Are they about to be? Dumbass. Uh, con yeah, somebody's been caught. Somebody's been caught, and the conflict has ended. It's over. Somebody could be real pissed off. They real mad. How dare you? You know, attempt to expose me for stealing your shit. You know, or whatever. <laughs> How dare you demand that I give you your money I stole back? I. That's really like what the the, the energy I feel. Like people have. The, If this is your story, beloved, <laughs> I'm sending a prayers for you. I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of light, and a lot of healing vibes. Because if it was my story, beloved, I wouldn't be here recording this little video for y'all right now. I'd be in jail. I'm getting locked the fuck up. Uh, conf <laughs> conflict reverse. Poverty. I really feel like, you know, there was, you know, a lot of circumstances where, you know, some people did some, they provided false information, false documents to steal some shit that was yours, right? That's what they wanted to do. They want to steal some shit that was yours. It's been exposed, you know, as typical, you know, typical dumbasses, you know, they've been caught, you know, they got messy. They celebrated early, you know, what dumbasses do, right? And now, you know, uh, the conflict is over. And I think I feel like a lot of these people could be sitting in poverty. Right where they wanted you. In the energy of lack. Why? Emotional manipulation reverse. They can't manipulate this shit. It's been some dumbass. A lot of y'all got this dumbass past person that's been trying to send you love spells for a really long time. They keep trying to do this fucking love magic bullshit. So much so that a lot of you despise that person. You want absolutely nothing to do with that fucking creature. The shit's not working. Mentally and emotionally unstable. Reverse. Meaning like, you stable. You have a mental stability and emotional stability. They're not manipulating shit. They're so weak sauce. They're like fucking up their... These people have ruined their lives trying to ruin yours. Or ruined their lives trying to steal some shit that belong to you. 
Just dumb as fuck. Just dumb. Karma. Reverse. <laughs> voodoo. <laughs> Baby base on the yeah. These dumbasses, they've been doing all this voodoo, all this hoodoo, all this bibbity bobbity boo, all the hocus pocus weak asses. Do anything but have a conversation with you. Do anything but open their fucking mouths, right? Do anything but throw a rock and not hide their fucking hand. Voodoo upright, karma reverse. They're getting bad karma for all the fucking energy manipulation they want to do. Every banana peel they set outside of your fucking house. Every time... People are disgusting. Illusions and mental manipulation reverse. So let me say, collective, let me show y'all these cards. All three of these cards talking about any type of manipulation, right? Emotional manipulation, mental and emotional instability, illusions and mental manipulation. All three of those where somebody can fuck with your feelings, have you feeling some type of way, you know, bend your will. All three of those came out reverse. They're not manipulating shit. That magic bullshit is done. For a lot of y'all, that magic bullshit is out of here. They go either, they, they're, they're going to come real or they're not going to come at all. And a lot of these motherfuckers, they just can't do it. Collective, they cannot do what you do, baby. They can't sit there and stand in their truth. They can't be real. They can't be authentic. They don't know how. So their ass, ass is grass. Because it's not working. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. Motherfuckers better wake the fuck up. It's a new fucking day. Like seriously, it really is. We have a global awakening. Everybody's waking the fuck up. These motherfuckers go roll with it or they're going to get rolled over. Seriously, that shit. Oh, goodness. Yeah, project all the evil eye you want. Weak ass karmic sauce. Project all that evil eye you want. It's going back to your dumb ass. You're not fucking with Collective. Never was. That was an illusion too. They're so stupid, fam. I swear to God, they're dumb. Opposition reverse. <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers really thought they was opposing some shit. Yeah, they can't oppose you, beloved. What God has for you, none of these, no man could take away. So, uh, you don't, you know damn sure none of these roaches was taken away. None of these fucking creepy crawlers was coming upstairs and taken away. Fuck they thought they were. Opposition reverse. Yeah, sit y'all dumb asses down. Goodbye. Go back to the basement. Commitment reverse. Abundance. So somebody don't want to oppose you no more. They end in a commitment that they're already in because they 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 worried about this abundance. It's all about money. It's all about money to them. That's so fucking disgusting to me. Intuitive care. If you know this intuitively, you intuit this. You know that that motherfucker, yeah, you pass for you know that these motherfuckers only coming back for money. They want to cut, want a piece of your pie, couldn't steal it from you or get you out of the way to take it. So now they want to come in and fake support you to get a slice. I wish a mother, I wish, man, this is somebody you're not in communication with. Maybe your intuition has told you to block communication. To not communicate with these fucking animals. Abandonment reverse. These people who didn't want you to walk away. No, please don't walk away. Please let us siphon your energy and continue stealing from you. What the fuck? False flame, twin flame reverse. False ass flame that don't want you to walk away. Yeah, somebody you're not in communication with. Probably because you don't need to be in communication with this fucking clown. Ronald McDonald. That was your twin flame. Ronald. Love offer. Somebody really go come in with this shit too. Lord. Lord. No, they ain't mad no more. As if they ever had a fucking reason to be mad at you anyway. Animosity reverse. They ain't mad at you no more. They want to offer you a love offer. Man, I pray to God, Lord Jesus, please take the wheel. Please cover me and keep all of my past per my past people away from me. Uh, healer reverse. Yeah, this is somebody they're not on. This is your energy, beloved. This is your energy, beloved. So somebody aligned with you would be in a similar energy. 
you're a false flame. This, this joker that want to make you a love offer and come back because you're abundant. Oh. Awakening, yeah, that motherfucker. You better wake up. Smell the coffee. Maybe uh, this person's going through an awakening. Like, oh shit. That was my that was the real empress? That was the high priestess? Like, yeah, Joker, that was that was the real deal. The one that you fumbled and you ran over with that bus? Yeah, that was the real deal, dummy. Oh. I just knew it was a hoe. <laughs> I just knew it was a hoe. It's a hoe, baby. It's a hoe. They won't come back and do nasty stuff to you. Okay? Pathway reverse. Yeah, this person's pathway is blocked. Why did I hear that? Oh, gosh. I'm about to say that. <sighs> Maybe this person just... Ugh, they might just... I don't You know. Maybe they just want to be a hoe. Let them be a hoe. Let a hoe be a hoe. You know? I mean, you know. They want to be lustful. They want to, you know, spread it wide and lay it low and all that, you know, that good stuff. You know, let them do it. Uh, this kind of ran a little bit long, beloved. We had 30 minutes already. Uh, I'm going to do the tarot. I might, you know, keep it a little, you know, keep it cute, keep it short and sweet. Uh, let's get into it. Yeah, that was a bit much. Uh, you know, remember to use your lusty reverse. Like I said, the last card out of that, that, uh, that deck was what? Lust upright? Lusty reverse. You're not going for the bullshit. You're not out here hoeing. You don't want no hoes. Like, no thanks. That's community meat. That there be street meat. We, we're good. I'm vegan. I know that. What's up, boo? What's up, love? How you doing? Queen of Cups, baby. You ain't going for that hoe shit. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. I know that's fucking right. Come through. Come through. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. You know, single, sexy, independent. Fine, divine self. You know, you standing on your own two feet, making your own money. You know, Queen of Swords. It's in the upright, too. You know, cutting karmics off, watching the chick get bigger. This is just all your energy. It feels good. It feels great. Justice. All five of these is your energy, baby. I almost just want to jump right into uh the, the, the mess deck. Because, yeah, okay. So you have lust, Lusty Reverse. Lusty reverse, Queen of Cups upright, Nine of Pentacles upright. Like those three alone is just beautiful energy. It's all you, beloved. But then you also have Queen of Swords and Justice. Speaking the truth. You might be a truth speaker, truth teller. You know, you out here setting the record straight on these clowns. Um, I feel like, you know, you cutting karmics off. Watching your chick get bigger, Nine of Pentacles. You not out here being no hoe. That lustful shit don't work on you. People want to come at you real lusty and passionate and shit. That's not the energy that moves you, beloved. You vibing a little bit higher than that. Um, let's get into it, though. Lusty reverse. Five of swords reverse. The Hierophant reverse. The Magician. Ten of Swords Reverse. Ace of Pentacles. So there's somebody that has been trying to project a lustful energy towards you. You know, we've had that. That came out in the Kipper-ish. There was like some energy that, you know, they've been sending. It's not fucking with you because you're unfuckwittable. Okay. You know, uh, you doing what you need to do. You're in alignment. These fucking dumbasses keep coming for you. It's not going down like that. Let's see reverse. You're not a hoe, so the energy's not working. Whatever they've been doing behind your back, projecting this bullshit, it's been exposed. Or it's being exposed right now. This is somebody trying to manifest. It's some low vibrational masculine energy. Hierophant reverse is that same priest reverse. It's a wizard, a warlock. They're in lustful energy, so it's a jigalock. Literally. Jigalo and a warlock. Trying to manifest you, right? They're trying to manifest there not being a permanent, a painful permanent ending. In a lot of, in most cases, this motherfucker, this stupid mother, I'm sorry. It's just, a, it's, it's, <laughs> this person has already lost you. In most cases, this person has already lost you. 
A lot of y'all are in new unions. You're in a new cycle. This month, it's, 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 it's annoying. It's irritating. It really is. Like to be on a totally different page in a totally different book and you got that old book that's in the fucking dumpster outside still trying to, you know, pull on your shit. It's annoying. This person's trying to, you know, avoid or manifest they're not being a painful permanent ending. This motherfucker's stupid. Slow. Because that shit is already, they're already living in it, baby. They are already living in that painful permanent ending. This motherfucker's stupid. They're trying to manifest another opportunity so let me get this right you know you stab you put 10 swords in my back when i loved you let's pretend i'm collective you put 10 swords in my back when i loved you and was loyal to you even warned you about the bullshit you're going through now you put 10 swords in my fucking back you leave i move on i heal i get into alignment and then you have the audacity to want to come back for a, a round two, another opportunity. Oh, you done bumped your fucking head. You done bumped your fucking head. This motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Uh, Queen of Cups, you know, uh, in the upright, this is man. Uh, this could be a man or a woman. It's feminine energy. This person's amazing. You know, Queen of Cups is the bee's knees for me. Uh, your energy is absolutely beautiful. It's warm. It's, you know, it makes people feel comfortable. You know, people like being around you. When you talk, people like to listen to you. You know, your beautiful energy you have. Beautiful energy. Uh, Queen of Cups, what's going on, boo? Knight of Cups. White Magic Reverse. Eight of Swords. <laughs> the Lovers Reverse. Three of Pentacles Reverse. Well, there's so many sayings that just ran through my head. Like, uh, 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 you never miss your water till your rail run, runs dry. You never know what you got until it's gone. All of that shit. All of that. All of that right here. So, like I said, my love. You know, we, we got you out here, you know, just being absolutely amazing. Being, you know, the shining light that you are. The guiding light. The beautiful energy that you are. Somebody want to make you a love offer. Somebody, you know, has love for you. They woke up. Realized that you was the shit. And that, you know, they love you. This dumbass thought. Oh, excuse me. Okay. This person, this individual, right? They've been doing black magic. White magic reverse. They've been doing black magic on you. So that maybe they, they can come in and make a love offer and you accept it. They want to trap you. Eight of swords. They're doing this black magic to trap you. They want to catch you up in a trick bag. Make it real tight this time so that way you can't get out. Because you broke free. You didn't already broke free. You escaped once. They want to trap you. They don't want you to escape again. The love contract that you had with this joker, it's over. The lovers reversed. They did not choose you. And they were loud about it too. I know your stories. They didn't choose you. They chose somebody else and they were loud and proud about it when they chose that other person. They didn't choose you. So naturally, beloved, three of pentacles reverse. You don't want to work with this motherfucker. There will be no collaboration. You don't want to work with this person. They're a snake. They are a fucking snake. They threw you under the bus. They did you for dirt. They lied on you. They stole from you. They cheated on you. Really trying to fuck you off. You don't want to work with this person. Not going to happen. I mean, it's clear as day to me. Like, shit. <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with people? Like, seriously. Take that L. This is somebody that needs to take that. Take that L. You lost. You fumbled. You fucked off. Take that L. Sit in it. Shit. Stand on it. Collective, these are people that made conscious decisions to betray. Off. That's why. This is why I get pissed. They've made conscious decisions. To betray and really fuck over a sweetheart. 
Somebody whose energy is gold. Some, a, a sweetheart. Kindest, nicest person you can meet. And they want to fuck you off? The trash. These people are just trash. And that's why I'm so passionate about and I get you know I feel I feel the energy and some of this does resonate for me as well but I mean just just to know that like I know I'm I feel I'm I'm empathic I feel energies and some of the shit that those of you that carry this energy the bullshit that you have had to endure at the hands of people that you should have fucking been able to trust is bullshit it infuriates me and that's why I call these dumbasses dumbasses Anyway, nine of pentacles. You out here, I mean, you really, you, you got your shit together. You know, regardless of what you went through, not to say in any way, shape or form, you deserved any of it because you didn't. But I know, I have it on good authority that, you know, most of us, the things that we, a lot of the things that we've been through happened for us. You know, like... You know, a lot of the shit that you went, it could have triggered your spiritual awakening. That last relationship with that false flame, it, for some of you, it triggered your spiritual awakening. It got you into alignment. You learned how to love yourself. You might have found God. You know, you damn sure got your independence and your money right. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, baby. What's going on here? Eight of Wands reverse. Death reverse. Seven of Pentacles. The Vampire. Get your... Mm. Page of Wands. Yeah. Of course this motherfucker getting bad news. So we got you, Nine of Pentacles. Excuse me. We got you, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you done blocked communication with somebody. You're not speaking with somebody. Thinking uh, Kipper Ish, we had to come out of that false flame. You're not communicating with that motherfucker. Why? Death reverse. They refused to change. They didn't want to grow. If you didn't grow, you can't go. You know? They didn't want to grow. They didn't want to transform. They didn't want to go through that rebirth. The same painful shit that you know you had to go through, that growth, that transformation, they, they just refuse. They don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. We'll keep your ass in the basement then. Goodbye. Um... I feel like you planted seeds. You've been planting seeds. You've been looking, you know, re reaping good karma. You're getting good karma because you did what you were supposed to do. There's a narcissist, the vampire, in the upright. Meaning this is still this is an, an act of narc. You know, there's still a narc, narky poo. Um, they're receiving bad news, or you don't have passion for this person. Page of Wands reverse. I get that too. Like beat it, not beat it, narc. Get your weird ass out of here. Shit, don't nobody like you. Don't nobody want you. Move. Shit. <laughs> page of one. Page of one's reverse. I can't send it. Let me say it louder for the narcs in the back. Beat it, narc. Beat it. Move. Cycle's over. The world is completed. Cycle is over. Goodbye. Shit. Hell yeah. You the cycle this clown out. If they don't get out of your energy collector. Oh, if this raccoon don't get out, of, if this woodland creature, this creepy crawler, if they don't get out of your energy collective, I know you tired of it. I'm tired of talking about it. I swear to God, look. Twin flame reverse, page of swords reverse. Is somebody spying on you? Or you know what? You don't want nothing to do. You close. Like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. You see, I feel the energy, which is why I'm ready to bust somebody in the head for you. You close a cycle with this animal, right? This stray dog. Uh, <laughs> you close the cycle with this person. What they do? Talk shit about you. Try to run your name down in the streets. Want everybody to have a false perception of you because they wasn't shit. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, get your weird ass on. Got the nerve to want to make a love offer. This man. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Uh, in the upright. This could very well be your energy. It's in the upright. Queen of Swords, man or woman. You cut, yeah. See that sword? The sword's up. Like, who wants it? Who wants it? Who? Which one? And like, any karmic can get it. Any day. What's up? Shit. We'll, we'll cut a karmic. Uh, Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands reverse. Uh, 
High Priestess Reverse. Oh, this is a fucking witch. That's the witch bitch. Remember the witch bitch that you know your person's trying to get away from? That's the witch bitch. It was a witch bitch, baby. It was a witch bitch. We don't love each other, though. She bewitched me. I don't love that hoe. <laughs> Pedro, yeah. Person was cheating on them. They was cheating on each other. There was no commitment, no love. Like, what, the, what the fuck was the point then? Huh? Inquirer minds want to know. No commitment, no love. Both of y'all broke, so what was the point? Huh? Like, I, I, I would love to know. Like, what was the point? I'm sorry. It's a text message came in. My bad. Uh, <laughs> the chariot. Yeah, somebody ready to move on. This could be your masculine and feminine energy. Seven of Wands reversed. Or this could be somebody is, you know, somebody out here unprotected. That's why I say it could be your masculine. Somebody's out here unprotected. They decided to partner with a uh, high priestess reverse, you know, a karmic witch, bitch, dare I say. Uh, there was no love and no commitment, and they're ready to move on. Ace of Cups reverse, Page of Pentacles reverse, the chariot. There was no love, no commitment, and somebody ready to move on. Like, they're ready to, you know, get away from this heifer. You know, ready, ready to do better. Now, you know, I mean, does that mean coming towards you? It, it don't damn sure shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? They did you for dirt. Like, damn. Let Collective heal and go on about their way. Get what they deserve, which is much better than this bullshit. Yeah, this person needs to leave you be. Yeah, you're a false flame. Get your weird ass on. You are a fucking false flame. Get out. Move. Shit. What else? The What's going on? This person could be in bad health. Four Swords Reverse has been coming out. So somebody could be in bad health. They could be sick, you know? You know, if I did all the fucked up shit that this person did to you, to my twin flame, my soulmate, a sweetheart, I would probably be sick too. Sick to my fucking stomach with myself at the bullshit I did. I would be sick too. Yeah, they're at a stalemate. Two of Swords. Can't move forward. They don't know how to move forward. Completely fucked you over, right? In a lot of in a lot of cases, not only were you their soulmate, you were their, their path to abundance. You know, their pathway to abundance, their pathway to happiness. You were all of it. And they completely fucked you off. Fucked over. What they gonna do now? What are they gonna do? And see, that kind of evokes like a little bit of compassion for me. Because it's sad. Like, damn. Damn. They better try to make it work with the witch, bitch. Hell, y'all better try to be happy. That's the one you chose, player. Go, <laughs> shit. Better make it work. <laughs> Justice. What the fucking period? Justice. Who sees ya? Uh, will be served, you know? Those scales have to be balanced. Things have to be fair. Gotta be made right. Hell yeah. Hell. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You... Um, it's what you deserve, baby. Like I say, you know, this 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 last person, you know, maybe they're learning from mistakes. Bless their heart. But they fucked up. They fucked up. They fucked off. You have something way better aligned for you. Way better aligned for you, beloved. This choke, yeah. No, mm-mm. Like, it's great that they're, they're waking up. You know, they're changing, making great changes, you know, to do better. Do better without the collective. You didn't fuck the, collector, uh, the collective up enough. Like, move on. They have to. You have a divine partner coming in. And that's justice. To be fair. To be fucking fair. Queen of Cups. High Priestess. Nine of Pentacles. Like, you're the shit. You deserve it. You deserve somebody that's going to treat you like you're the shit. Give you everything you deserve. Give you the same shit that you give, at least. You deserve that. Deserve so much better than this past person, man. So much better. They at the Five of Pentacles. Somebody at the Five of Pentacles. It was all about money, right? That's what they wanted, right? That's what, that's what they cared about. What the fuck this person want? Yeah, this is somebody who could have lost their job. I feel like the justice is you get a divine partner and, you know, the people that betrayed you or this past person that betrayed you, they could have lost a job. You have 13 pentacles or 13, well, five of pentacles and then eight of pentacles reverse. 
poverty and job loss, loss of income, loss of work. They could be losing their job or something. Oh, they mad about it. Five, five, five of wands. This motherfucker mad. Well, I'm mad. I know I made all these choices to fuck up my own life, and I'm mad. I'm mad at you because I made fucked up choices. Like, if you don't get your weird ass on and take that ill, yeah, go somewhere and get fucking balanced. Temperance energy, earth angel energy, emotional balance. Go somewhere and get your shit together, sir, ma'am, creature. Yeah, they're going to have to let you go, baby. Four of Pentacles reverse. They got to let you go. They didn't marry. Yeah, they lost you. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Meaning they had a boss. They had a divine boss in that bank. Out of the mess. Fine as fuck. Just fine. Fine and divine. They lost you, boo. Fumbled that bag, baby. Bottom of the deck, we have innocence. Uh, upright. Somebody innocent. Somebody free of guilt, of blame. You were the innocent in the situation. Somebody feels really bad. They have a lot of remorse. They might want to apologize. Because they're embarrassed. They look fucking stupid. They look really stupid. Could be ashamed. Now they're focused on ascension. You know? Or the, you were ascending the whole time. And this is somebody that, you know, tried to emotionally manipulate you. A narc being a narc. Secretly had a third party behind your back. That they've recently released. That was their false flame. Or this was your false flame. They were reckless, careless. Talked shit about you behind your back. Took from you six of pentacles. There was no equal give and take. They made the wrong choice. And now they see that. They see that they were in a karmic connection. They see. That they might have bound themselves to a financial curse. Ten of pentacles reverse. A lot of cases that karmic energy. That they either married or bound themselves to. That person that wouldn't go have shit. Nothing whatsoever. Especially without this masculine. Now they, not, they both not going to have shit. The devil. That's who they chose, right? They chose the devil. They chose Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, because you walked away. You out of there, baby. Out of there, pool. Yeah, seeing through the illusions. You see through this bullshit. You, saw that, you knew that motherfucker was a hater. That's why they losing shit. Yeah, you walked away. You don't feel bad about this shit. You knew this person was a liar. King of Swords reverse. A liar and a narcissist. Get your lying ass on. They're in legal issues currently. It's not going in their favor. This is going to be a tower moment. A shock. It's a shocker. I just heard. Uh, you're not going to believe what this motherfucker did. I just heard you're not going to believe what this motherfucker did. Yeah, something that they can't get out of. Six of Swords reverse. You ain't gonna believe what this mother... <laughs> you ain't gonna believe what this motherfucker did. Uh, the Star reverse. Yeah, they done lost you, poo. With lies. A lot of Libra energy, a lot of Aquarius energy. Uh, yeah, lying ass Libra. Lying, mm -mm. Yeah, hidden enemy reverse. This is somebody that was working against you. They've been exposed. They're not trustworthy, not reliable. They've been getting their ass kicked by karma the whole fucking time, but they just did not want to give up, right? They worked real hard. More Libra energy. They worked real hard for this heartbreak. Three of swords. Heartbreak, emotional pain. They worked real hard for this shit. They worked real hard to be a demoted masculine. Emperor reverse. Worked real hard to lose this money. They're waiting for some type of black magic to work. Currently. Could be two people. Two masculines. King, Emperor reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Could be your father and your past person. They're waiting. Three of, three of wands, right? They're waiting for some bullshit that they invested in to work. How does this go, collective? Nine of cups. They're not going to get what they want. It's going back to them. Tenfold, twentyfold, fiftyfold, shit, a thousandfold until they get the fucking message to stop playing with you, which they're going to <laughs> open the clouds reverse. They don't see this shit clearly or they confused. Yeah, they about to see shit real clearly. Very clear. Yeah, because you're done. You stepped out of the stress, out of the nightmare. And Ronald McDonald, you know, the clown that tried to betray you. Ronald McDonald is going through bad luck, bad fortune, bad karma. 
Should have kept his dumb ass at McDonald's instead of fucking with you. That's what Ronald should have did. You got a relationship coming in. You have a relationship coming in and like I said, it's not your past. For a lot of you, I feel this strongly. It's somebody from your past. Not your past person. Not this, not Ronald. No, it's not Ronald McDonald. We sent that motherfucker back to McDonald's with the chicken nuggets. Okay, it's not Ronald. This could be somebody from your past though. Somebody that you met before. You've known before. Yeah, it's going to be a partnership. It's going to be a relationship, love. Baby, you all deserve it. You all, you deserve this shit. Damn it. Fuck what they talking about. Judgment's been called on the Empress Reverse Energy, your doppelganger, copycat, maybe your karmic ass mama. Because uh, they were disloyal. You intuitively knew that this person was a snake. Now they want to come back being your good graces. Four cups reverse. They don't want to be uh, rejected. Even though they lied on you. Stole from you. Hid something from you. Ten of cups. This is family member. Their secrets are being exposed. So there's a masculine energy that has a sex entity. They have an entity attachment of some sort. Could be a sex demon. Uh, it's something low vibrational. Something low vibrational with the most high reverse and then false person. Yeah. Something that, you know, they was hiding. I don't, man, I don't know. I don't know. How long is this? This feel like this has been running long. I'm going to give you a little bit of the mistake. Then we go jump into some Oracle, baby. This was interesting. How do y'all, uh, any of you that like are not watching the Super Bowl, this is why I recorded. I'm recording before the game because I, I might actually be watching. But, uh, you know, any of you that are not watching the game, I was like, I'm going to put a video up. Um, let's do a little bit of domestic. See what we got going on for you, love. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day, your morning, your afternoon, your evening. Just messages for the collective spirit. Messages for the collective spirit. The fact that you leveled up after they left is really triggering your your past person. Like, oh, you couldn't make all that money while I was still with you, abusing you. Like, no, motherfucker, I really couldn't. Like, yeah, get your weird ass on. Friend with benefits. Shit, do your thing. Hell, you know, wrap it up. Do your thing, baby. You could be gifted. You gifted in things. <sighs> you wouldn't submit. You wouldn't submit. So they tried to destroy you. You wouldn't submit. What the fuck is this? A college application? A McDonald's application? Submit. To who? To what? What the fuck? These motherfuckers crazy. Seriously. Or burn the bridge. Now they want you to send them a boat. And that's what exactly what happened in a lot of cases. Motherfuckers did you for dirt. Burn the bridge. Because they had absolutely no plans on coming back to your side of the fucking of the river. You know, so they burned the bridge so you couldn't join them in what was supposed to be everything. Riches, fame, fortune. Now these motherfuckers over there in hell, they want you to send a boat. Burn the bridge. So that you can never you can never cross it, right? They want you to send a boat now. I ain't sending shit. You motherfuckers better learn how to swim. You burned the bridge so I couldn't cross it. I ain't sending shit. Swim fast. Uh, the same people that counted you out have watched you persevere and transcend all obstacles. Yeah, because they damn sure been looking. They have watched you persevere and transcend all of their punk ass obstacles. Collective. Congratulations, my love. My brothers. My brethren and my sistren. You have transcended the obstacles. You pushed through this bullshit. And if you did it without cracking any of these motherfuckers in the head. I'm going to give credit where it's due. Because Lord knows. With family like this. Who needs enemies? Period. Like With family like this. Who the fuck need an enemy? 
My, God, my, my blood will do me. <laughs> you know, your blood did you for dirt. You don't need no damn enemies. Hell, you got, you got them. They will attempt to gaslight you and blame you for their misfortune. You both know that they alone seal their fate. I wish a motherfucker would. I will slap them with a hammer. Uh, I mean a plastic hammer, a rubber hammer, of course. But you know, they will attempt to gaslight you and blame you for their misfortune. Who the fuck? You mean to tell me your dumb ass tried to steal from me, you got caught, and you want to blame me for it? Oh. Remain focused on things that will that fulfill you. The negativity around you is a distraction. Ignore it, period. A lot of y'all don't even hear this shit. Like, who? What? Who? Yeah, your ex-past partner, that weirdo that's projecting evil eye towards you because they're stupid. And they fucked up. Karmic family betrayed you for financial gain. Yeah, karmic family can kiss ass with the tongue out. We don't care. Next. My mama doesn't like you because you're different. Your mama don't like herself. Tell her to keep collective name out of mouth. Tried to copyright your work. <laughs> wow. Tried to copyright your shit. So let me tell, let, let me get this right. Say collective, you didn't create it something. This is resonating. This is resonating for me. Because y'all know I have my own little tarot decks I like to use, right? Uh, for those of you who've been asking, it's on the way. It's in production now. Um, the Kipper-ish. Um... Somebody tried to copyright your work. They try to take your shit and copyright your shit so they can sue you later for your shit. Epic fail. Countersuit on the way. Bah! Got you. Got that ass, baby. Um, let me know if that if does, is that resonate for somebody else. Is somebody else trying to steal your shit? Copyright your shit? I guess multiple people going through this shit. I, I man. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> uh, let me get you some oracle love. I'm going to give you a, a goddess, gods, and guardians. I'm going to give you an archangel oracle. And I will give you a moonology. So it's cause speaking to me. It's calling to me, baby. Okay, let's do... Uh, I'll pull one of each here. Moonology. Let's go. Let's All right, we have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. All right, from goddesses, guys, and guardians. It's a good one, spirit. Give us a real good one, spirit. Oshun, sweet success. I have never read this one. Oshun, sweet success. Sound good. Sound good to me, baby. Shoot. Uh, Archangel Fire Oracle. This was a gift that one of you sent me. It's one of my favorite decks. Thank you, love. Um, my girl in Idaho sent this one to me. It was a good one, Spirit. It was a good one. Carub Carubio. 33 could be significant. Carubio. Hmm. Let's start with that one. All right. From uh, Archangel Fire Oracle, we have Carubio. 33. Okay. Illumination. One of the heads of the mighty cherubim angels, Carubio is a powerful archangel. Unlike the classical pictures of chubby flying babies, cherubs actually have four faces, that of a lion, an eagle, an ox, and a human, which point to each of the four directions on the compass. The name cherub, cherubim means wisdom. And Carubio's name specifically means the flames which dance around the throne of God. When I first experienced a meeting with this force of an angel, I felt and saw huge golden talons like those of an eagle coming down from above me. I physically felt the sheer weight of this being as he perched on my shoulders. His eyes flashed with golden fire and his wings blazed with lightning that came in multiple surges of electrical heat. Golden fire surged and spewed in sparks from his human mouth when he spoke. The request was far from my light and fluffy, and although still loving, it left me trembling. However, although he may look and sound rather ominous, this angel really does have our best interest at heart. Like a cosmic lighthouse, he calls forth peace and light and sends it out in all directions. He uses his flame to ignite the highest heights of wisdom and knowledge within us, and he is here to help everyone on the planet to awaken and ascend. 
Do not delay. The time has come to share of your light. Be unafraid to speak your truth, for there are many who will benefit from your message. I'm going to read that again because that's the message here. Do not delay. The time has come to share of your light. Be unafraid to speak your truth, for there are many who will benefit from your message. You know who you are. This ain't for everybody, but you know who you are. Do not <laughs> delay. Okay. This can be nerve wracking. I, you know, I'm in. I'm just from what I do. You know, um, I told you I've shared my story with you guys, and I left my old reads up so you guys can see the growth. I man, my first couple reads, I was shaking like booty meat. I was scared. It's scary. You know, I was still learning the cards. I was still, you know, trying to figure this shit out. You know, still under heavy spiritual attack. You know, I was going through some things, baby. You know, hadn't found my confidence. Didn't love myself yet. You know, was still, you know, still discovering God. It's, you know, but if you feel guided to do something, and that's what it was. I just, I trusted, you know, after 34 years, you know, in my darkest hour, I prayed to God and something, something showed up. And help carry me out of whatever the, the, the shit I was going through. So yeah, I'm forever indebted, you know. And that's why I just followed that faith. I was being guided into tarot. I was being guided to speak on certain things that I have, what I was experiencing at the time, and I still do. She is speak on certain things, but uh, I just took that leap of faith. You know, I could have just sat there like, you know, okay, well I'm being guided to do this, but you know, hmm. You know, maybe I'll just wait. You know, and I mean, it happens. Sometimes you do wait. But if you're constantly being guided guided to do something, you know, it's divine guidance. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, yeah, come on, come on. Shit. Tell it. Spill it. You know, you never know who your your truth could help. You never know who who's listening. You know, sometimes you guys send me emails and it's still... Some some emails, very rarely, very seldom do I get one like this. Where like, you know, one of you email me and you tell me specific parts of like a reading or specific words I said. Because a lot of times I get up here and I just, you know, y'all know me. You know, I'm just loud and, you know, I try to be funny and I, I am raw and honest. I'm just going to kick it to you straight. But, you know, a lot of times I don't know the, the effect that my words have. And so, like, one of you guys sent me an email, and you're like, you know, you said this on one day, and it really, really helped pull me out of a rut. And I'm like, what? But that just goes to show you never know who your truth can help, who your testimony can help. If you're being guided to speak, speak. If you're being guided to create, create. If you're being guided to lead, lead. Step into the light, baby. Welcome. Like, come on. <laughs> um... All right, I'm going to do this moonology next. Assess the situation. First quarter moon in Virgo. Yeah, just step up. You know, you don't have to be perfect. And that was my whole thing. I was scared to, you know, uh, uh, to start this initially because I'm like, I'm not ready. You know, I want to be perfect. You'll get there. I'm still I'm a year and a half into this whole tarot thing. And I'm still, I'm far from perfect. Still have a lot to learn. But you know what? I've grown. I've come a long way. So... I'm grateful. I'm glad I did it. You know, I'm glad I, I, you know, stepped into spirituality. I'm glad I discovered God. You know, I'm grateful for, you know, the shitty experiences that pushed me into awakening. You know, I'm grateful. First quarter moon in Virgo. We're, okay, hold on. All right. Stop, breathe, and take stock. Perhaps you've taken on too much. Now is the time to be reliable and practical. Laziness is your enemy. Also, don't be too influenced by the crowd and what they're saying. Do you still want what you used to want as much? If so, are you really doing what needs to be done to make your dreams real? Express how you feel, but do it without too much self-criticism or criticism of others. Make an honest inventory about where you could do more to manifest your dreams. Assess the situation. Very, I mean, that's the last part, especially. Uh, make an honest inventory about where, where you could do, where you could do more to manifest your dreams. Because that's all this is all it's about. You know, set the intention and then take those actionable steps. I mean, that's literally, that's how you manifest. <laughs> it's the, I mean, that's how I manifest. Set the intention and then take actionable steps. You got to put, you have to take the steps. You have to, to you know, 
take action. Can't just, you know, sit there and like, oh, well, you know, and visualization helps. Yeah, set that intention, visualize, but then take actionable steps, whatever it is you want to do. All right. Uh, from goddesses, gods and guardians, we have Oshun, baby. Oshun, sweet success. Yes, queen. I'm excited because I've heard, I've, I know a little bit about Oshun. I've never read this card, though. And uh yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh shoom. Giving birth to your own prosperity. Feminine leadership. Oshun is the mother of the Nigerian Yoruba people, and her name means the source. She's an Orisha, a spiritual protector sent by Supreme Creator Ola Dumere. This beloved goddess holds keys to fertility, success, and prosperity. Empress energy. Women pray to her to help get them pregnant. The patron saint of the o Osun River, Oshun's sweet flowing waters, can cure illness, grant wishes, and confer protection to women leaders. Her colors are yellow and amber. Some of her symbols are brass bracelets, honey, peacocks, sunflowers, and pumpkins. Are you secretly afraid of being richly rewarded and successful? Were you taught that life and work are struggles to be endured? Is it difficult for you to equate spiritual service with material wealth and social status? You've been working hard for a long time, and Oshun, Yoruba goddess of creation, has been watching you. She sees your efforts and knows what it takes to juggle countless demands alongside creating meaningful work. You're a sacred feminine creator, in tune with the source of all things, says Oshun. The time has come for your creations to be birthed with ease, just as I gave birth to the first people on earth, she declares, leading you to a river gushing with the energy of prosperity. Release thoughts of lack into Ashun's flowing waters. It's important that you do this as the universe is moving you into positions of leadership. Allow yourself to be richly resourced and wildly successful in all your creations. Old beliefs about scarcity and patterns of undervaluing your time and energy are being washed away by Oshun's river. Wealth in all forms flows to you. Claim your throne of divine feminine influence and lead with love. Oshun, sweet success. You're destined for it. It was yours, beloved. It was all you. It was always yours. You're destined for it. That was a good one. Um, I did pick a prayer. This one is from uh, Prayers That Release Heaven and Move Mountains by John Eckert. Uh, one of my faves. I opened the book and no lie, it was on Declarations of the Righteous. I am praying for uh, all you chosen ones, all you star seeds. What's up, fam? Um, all you beautiful souls, everybody watching and myself. Excuse me. I will enter through the gate of the Lord. I am delivered from trouble. My roots cannot be moved. I choose my friends carefully and will not be led astray. The memory of my name will be blessed because I am righteous. My labor leads to life. I only desire good. My thoughts are right. My house will stand and I will not be overthrown. I have a refuge in death and will not be banished. I walk in integrity and my children are blessed. I, could, I do not covet greedily. I give and spare not. I am bold as a lion. I am not snared by transgression. I sing and rejoice. I consider the cause of the poor. I cry out and the Lord hears. He delivers me out of all my troubles. I show mercy and give. I inherit the land and dwell in it forever. I speak wisdom and my tongue talks of justice. The gates are open to me and I enter in because I keep the truth. Justice will not be taken from me. I will not be destroyed with the wicked. I will go away into eternal life. My words are like choice silver. My words encourage many. My hope will be gladness. I will never be removed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I felt something. I mean, something good, like during this prayer. It goes on. It's actually like a few pages, but I, you know, I spare y'all. I ain't going to give you all eight pages. Uh, but yeah, I'm in. Jesus name. Amen. That was a good one. My words bring forth wisdom. I am delivered through knowledge. I flourish like foliage. My roots yield fruit. 
When I rejoice, there is great glory. I will see the fall of the wicked. Oh, see, I could have just kept going, huh? I will never be shaken. I will be in everlasting remembrance. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there is some uh, some clarity, uh, some confirmation. Uh, maybe you could put two and two together. Um, if nothing else, thank you so much for joining me, fam. I love you guys to the moon and back. Uh, collective energy is the best. Um, to anybody who's donated, thank you so much. It's a really big help, and I really love you. Thank you so much, fam. Uh, to anyone that would like to donate or support the Etsy shop, the links will be in the description box of this video. Um, I have supplies coming today. There's a, a lot of you, one of you in particular, and you messaged me um, about, you actually placed an order yesterday. I'm going to send your order out tomorrow because I have something for you. Um, a lot of you have been requesting the ethereal bracelet. I'm not going to do it how, this is the original ethereal. It had white jade, howlite, and silver hematite. I'm not doing this ethereal, but I'm doing an ethereal. Um... Thing is, I'm, I'm getting better, better materials. Like I told you guys, I replaced the cord to do the bracelets. So this one is a lot more durable. When it comes to stones, anything that has plated, like it's plated silver, plated gold, plated, uh, you know, uh, rose gold, anything that's going to fade off, I'm, I'm doing away with it. Like you guys notice my intuitive protection bracelets, they're now natural pyrite because natural pyrite is not going to fade. So I'm trying to get better material. So this new ethereal, it has natural moonstone, it has white jade, it has highlight, and it has these rose rose gold uh, toggle clasps. But they're like really, they're really good quality. I paid a little bit extra, but they're good quality. I'm trying to get like quality stuff. So, um, you know, as I've been doing this, you know, a little while now, you know, so I'm getting like, you know, finding my niche, you know finding like better quality stuff and you know i want to give you guys the best so um yeah that'll be up soon the love yourself bracelet the red one that's restocked uh intuitive protection i have a few available i have restocked the uh bye bye bad vibe uh thank you guys so much uh because the first batch i made like 24 of these and they were gone within like a matter of hours like you guys bought them so thank you guys so much uh for your support this is my bath salt blend my energy cleansing bath salt blend um it has epsom salt sea salt pink himalayan salt uh the herbs i use are juniper mugwort uh bay leaf and angelica root which are all if you know anything about herbs you know i just named off some some purifying cleansing banishing like this this is good stuff um i do add lavender essential oil, essential oil as well uh those of you that have purchased i didn't include it in the like in your package but if you go to like the etsy page if you need instructions on how to do a spiritual bath or what each one of these ingredients does i've added a photo of like the all that information to the the photos on uh this item for the etsy on the etsy shop it's like a printable it's like a pdf little screenshot that i put um but yeah all the information is there thank you guys that have been supporting um you know a couple of you asked for you guys oftentimes will ask me well what do you do for your spiritual bath well this is mine i make it in bulk like i make it in a really big container and uh it just made sense to just jar it up and make it available to you guys so i do have uh that's been restocked uh thank you guys for your love and support um uh, those of you that give me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you so much, fam. I love you. It's a really big help. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, of light, healing vibes, peace, protection, prosperity, success, faith, gratitude, everything great. Uh, you're so worthy. You're so deserving. Don't ever forget that. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for the collective. I'll see you guys later.